Welcome back, everybody. A so-called forever chemical has made its way into our waterways, and the side effects can have a significant impact on your health because of it. Phil Gambini with our partners at Investigative Post looked into it. Here's what he found. Fishermen have been warned for years not to cook too much of what they catch in local waterways. The fish contain toxins, including mercury and lead, that can pose a danger to people who eat them. Well, there's another toxin to be concerned about. It's called PFOS, and it can be found in a wide variety of both consumer and industrial products. The forever chemical, as it's known, has made its way into our waterways, including the Great Lakes and major streams like 18 Mile Creek. Fish, of course, swim in those waters. Now, a state study has found people who eat a lot of fish from local waterways have the forever chemical in their bodies at rates way above normal. I think it's actually quite concerning. Um, we know that these compounds um, are potent at incredibly low concentrations where they are impacting health. That's news to the local fishermen that we caught up with along the Black Rock Canal and the Niagara River. I never heard of none of this stuff, you know, and I fish almost every day. I actually want to get tested now that you're telling me about this and now that I'm aware of what's going on around. The study by the State Department of Health found anglers with a fishing license had PFOS levels two and a half times greater than normal. A second group of fishermen, immigrants from Burma, had rates six and a half times greater than normal. Why the higher rate? Well, fish are a staple ingredient in Burmese cooking. These readings pose a danger because the forever chemical is linked to a host of ailments, including cancer, liver damage, thyroid disease, and more concerning effects. The other piece of it is this reduced immune response. Uh, so this is a de decreased antibody response to vaccines, including the COVID-19 vaccine. Generally, people who have been exposed to these chemicals have a harder time fighting infection. This forever chemical doesn't just pose a health danger to people who consume fish. It's ubiquitous, found in everything from cosmetics and carpeting to food packaging and firefighting foam. In fact, scientists say some level of PFOS is in almost everybody's bodies including newborns. For Channel 2 News, I'm Phil Gambini with Investigative Post.